Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron, and today we're gonna to take a look at the whys of lazy phone holder. But it's not gonna be just me. I've also got some friends that are gonna help out too. I've seen these lazy phone holders before and didn't really think that they were much more than a gimmick, but after having used this thing for a couple of weeks, I can tell you it's become one of my favorite cell phone accessories. This holder is about as simple as it gets because there's only two parts. There's the actual cell phone mount itself and then there's the the leg, the the post, the whatever you want to call it. The thing that actually attaches to the mount and lets it be at an elevated position. The poles themselves are metal uh, or the pole itself is metal and then the two ends are exposed whereas the rest of it is kind of wrapped in like a black plastic or sheathing so it's not uh, bare metal. But the ends are bare metal and then the actual cell phone holder itself uh, has two anchor points in it where basically these metal parts actually go into the holder itself and inside of there are magnets which actually keep the holder attached to the post uh, and actually doing some testing those magnets are very strong I was able to take my phone and put it in those uh, you know in the mount flip it upside down and actually shake it and the phone didn't really move any uh, so not that you'd ever do that but it's pretty strong the actual cell phone holder itself is able to hold your phone either in a portrait or a landscape mode the mount itself, because it is pretty wide, because it's meant to also work with tablets, um, when you have your phone in landscape mode, it actually holds the phone from the top and the bottom. Even when you have it in landscape mode um, versus portrait, it's gonna be attached to the top and the bottom of your phone instead of being the sides, so they can also facilitate tablets. Wise have claims that this holder can hold devices from 4.7 inches uh, all the way up to 7.2 inches wide. So my Galaxy S8 Plus, my wife's iPhone 7 Plus, and then my daughter's Kindle Fire 7 uh, all were in it just fine and never had any kind of problems. I did want to make you aware that if you're using something like a pop socket or a ring case or something like that that's got a holder on the back of your case or on the back of your phone, your phone's not gonna work. Um, I originally had my S8 Plus with a case on it and the holder held it just fine. I decided to start running my S8 Plus without a case on it and used a pop socket instead, instead of like a Ninja Loop, which I used before in the past. And that pop socket thickens the phone too much to where the holder on the uh, on the mount itself actually won't hold on to the phone anymore. Um, my favorite way of using this holder is, is like you're seeing back here, where it's used as an elevated phone mount. I use it primarily with my phone in landscape mode instead of portrait like this. Uh, but I use it to watch Philip DeFranco or catch up on some of my fellow tech YouTubers uh, while I'm eating breakfast, you know, before the family's woke up or while I'm eating dinner when the family's not home or something like that. Um, so I can still eat dinner at the table and not have to keep my TV on. This is really the best use that I've found for me uh, and it's also my favorite. What I've done before in the past while eating dinner or trying to make something and, you know, I, I want to watch a video, have a video playing and not have to use my hands is I prop my phone up against a glass or a bowl or a plate and inevitably gravity will do its thing and the phone falls down and it just doesn't let you watch your content. So by having the mount like this, you're able to keep it at an elevated position so you don't have to keep looking down the whole time, but then also it's hands-free of course, so you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, holding it. With it being in the holder, it doesn't move um, and you've also got the ability to adjust it if you want to. So if you're sitting down at the dining room table like I normally do, you can keep it right at eye level versus having to have it, you know, right on top of the table itself. Or if you're, um, if you want it lower, you can kind of, you know, play with the arms and set it to whatever is comfortable to you, which is kind of the best part is this thing is so customizable that regardless of how you want to use it, it'll probably end up doing what you want it to do. As I mentioned before, there are a ton of different uses for this thing. So to help me explain what some of those uses are, I've got a couple of fellow tech reviewers here to help me out. Thanks, Aaron. This is Brody from Pack Review. Um, sometimes in the morning, I either wake up really late or I'm just rushing around because, well, I woke up late. But when I first wake up, I like to check my emails or my YouTube channel and catch up on also on videos from other fellow YouTubers. Well, for me to do all that and also get coffee and also eat, I have to multitask. With Wizz's lazy phone holder, I can accomplish that very easy in the morning. I can actually watch my YouTube videos or check my emails while having a hot cup of coffee and, well, my favorite, a Pop-Tart, and also, well, I get to do my business in the morning at the same time. Thanks, Wizz, you actually made my mornings a lot easier. Actually, I'm 
I'm going to finish doing my business. So let's go over to Jason from Bay Cinema and see how he uses it. Cheers. Hey, it's Bay, but my name is Jason and I run the channel Bay Cinema. I really like using the YZIV Lazy Neck holder with my bicycle. I play Pokemon Go and this is an awesome thing to have, especially when I'm on my bike. I can just attach the lazy holder to my bicycle handlebars and now I can play Pokemon Go without having to hold my device. This is super helpful and useful to me because now I can put both of my hands on the handlebars and all around be more attentive to my surroundings which is very important when you're riding a bike. There's a Pokestop near me and I like to bike there once in a while and it's nice because I can play Pokemon Go hands free. With the Wise of Lazy Holder, I can bike around for Pokemon without having to hold my phone and stop when I want to catch them. In addition to playing Pokemon Go, you can also launch your favorite navigation app on your phone. Now you have a hands-free navigation system while riding your bike. This is especially useful if you use your bicycle as your main source of transportation. You can easily look at your phone without having your eyes fully off the road, which is great. That's what I like about the Wise of Lazy Neck Holder. Now, here is Erin. Thanks guys, I appreciate your help. So if you guys haven't been able to tell yet, I'm a huge fan of this thing, and just from the usage that I use it from, let alone the way that Brody or the way that Bay uses it, I definitely think that it's worth picking up. So if you're in the market for just a random fun gift to get someone, or you actually have a legitimate use for it, like what we're using it for, I definitely think that you'll be happy with it and definitely suggest picking one up. As I'm sure you saw in the title, there is a giveaway that's associated with this video. So Wiseup is actually giving away two of these holders and they're actually giving us a 15% off coupon code to give to you guys. So check the description box down below for the link to this item on Amazon, the 15% off coupon code so you can save yourself some money, and then also the link for the giveaway and all the applicable information and details that go along with that. As a bonus, WiseZip is doing a 50% off clearance sale on their USB Type-C cable. So if you have a device that uses USB Type-C, which is most flagships these days, I definitely think it's something for you to take a look at. I've been using the cable since November, December, every night to charge my Galaxy S8 Plus, and I've never had any kind of issue with it. So I definitely suggest you check that out. If this video was helpful to you at all, please hit that like button. If you want to see more consumer-related tech reviews on tech that I use and enjoy, I think you will too, hit that subscribe button. But until the next one, this is Aaron. Take care.